What up YouTube, I'm Mr. Mac. Welcome back to the Mac Shack for the next episode of our Football Manager 2020 Road to Glory with Lynx FC. This is the chain wreck. And we are here on the eve of our game against College Europa in the Gibraltar National League. Now a lot has happened since last time you were here with me. So we're gonna take a quick look at the fixtures here and you can see the last game you saw, we lost 4-0 to KRC Genk. Since then, the squad has bounced back in an amazing fashion. We have had five consecutive clean sheets, which you can see there, including a 7-0 thrashing of Magpies. Kelvin Morgan getting three, Craig Galliano getting two. That is the biggest win we have ever had in charge of Lynx FC, and I think a fantastic turnaround from what was a really disappointing collapse at the end of our Europa Conference League campaign. Morgan, Valdivia, Galliano have all kept up their goal-scoring form uh, with a 2-0 win against Boca Juniors, a 2-0 win against College 75, and then securing a top-half finish to move into National League Group 1. And we've started strongly there as well taking out Boca Juniors and Mons Calpe with convincing wins in both of those games. So, where does that leave us in the league? I'm glad you asked. If you have a look at this here, you can see we are uh, first place, 36 points, 12 wins, one loss, the only loss coming to Lincoln Red Imps. And the Red Imps are undefeated currently, 35 points. They've had two draws against College Europa and College 75. So very, very happy with the league position at the moment. As you can see, we've got an 11-point lead over College Europa with just eight games to play. Now, we'll play College Europa twice. We'll play Lincoln Red Imps twice as well. So we are by no means home and hosed yet. Um, but we're in a very promising position. You can see Kelvin Morgan, 12 goals in the league, 7.81 average rating. Uh, Tyler Bury, Leon Clinton, both of our right wing players, five assists each. Yeah, we're, we're doing a great job. Bradley Bounder, six clean sheets, uh, including the last five in a row. And yes, I was actually thinking about getting rid of him. I'm not so sure where we're going to go with that at the moment. I mean, he is still... Only a three-star potential, and unfortunately, as well, injured. Um, I will say that's probably been the big downfall since our last episode. We have Bradley Bunder out for three to six weeks uh, with sprained knee ligaments. And you can see a few other players here um, have got some above average or high injury susceptibility. However, that's not what you're here for. What you're here for is this game against College Europa. So we are going to get right into it here. You can see um, Aiden Vinales has come in as our goalkeeper here, probably the first, almost the first time he's played for the club. James Hill is sitting this one out um, just due to the fitness testing. Um, and we've got Clinton in the middle of midfield. We are just taking De Los Santos out for a game because his form has been a little bit shaky lately. As you can see there, a 6.72. We may be subbing Avalano in towards the end of the game. He's been on a 7.5. He's been playing really well uh, in the reserves. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully, we can see Julian Larson on the score sheet in this episode as well. So we get right into the nitty gritty of the match then, and you see a 4-5-1 possibly coming at us from College Europa. It is going to be wet um, out there. So look, I'm going to tell the boys if we play our game, we will win. And then I am going to make sure that they know that I have faith in every single one of them. James Hill, not ready to start just yet. Marco Rossa, yeah, look, we've definitely got a plan for him. I don't even know who he is, haven't heard of him, can't be that good, to be honest. Um, so, I'm not sure why we're on attacking here. I definitely want to be on cautious. We've had the first couple of shots here, um, one on target, but nothing worthy of a highlight as yet. 
College Europa have done quite well winning both of their opening games in the second stage of the competition as well. But of course, they are about 10 points behind us based on their efforts in the first half of the season. So uh, here we go. First highlight, 30 minutes in, Jamie Bozio with a throw up to Craig Galliano. Galliano plays inside to Leon Clinton, who lobs a ball forward to Julian Larson one on one. Larson turns it in. Thank you very much. We have the lead. 1 0 Lynx FC. Exactly what we want to see. Exactly the way we want to start. Um, sixth assist of the season for Leon Clinton. 11th goal of the season for Julian Larson. I'm a very happy man right now. All right. Let's, uh, let's get back to business. That puts us in a good spot, as you can see here. Unfortunately, this only gives us the second half league table. Uh, Leon Clinton with that set piece there goes straight to Brzezowski. Um, that's exactly how I'm going to pronounce his name every single time. I can guarantee it. And Brzezowski plays the ball up. He gets headed to Jones. Jones takes it inside and shoots from long range. You can shoot from there all day, my friend, because it is not troubling us at all. Seven shots to three now. College Europa with their first shot on target, but they cannot make anything of it. And we have been dominating the game. We've even had more possession, and that is a very rare thing for us. So I'm going to say I'm pleased with how things are going. Keep it up. Everyone's going to love me because that's just what they do. And we're back with another move, starting with Jamie Bozio. He plays a 1-2 with Ethan Jolly to get the set piece going, and then Kelvin Morgan runs onto it and plays through Julian Larson. Oh, Larson, with the one-on-one, -on -one, beats the keeper, but cannot get it inside the post. And another header into the post there is Brad Power does the exact same thing. Well, not really the exact same thing, but he hits the post still. And then Larson's free header flies over the bar. Hopefully, we will not come to regret those two chances into the woodwork. There, we have another corner now out to Denilson Carvalho. Plays it to Ethan Jolly, plays it back to Brad Power. Now to Tyler Bury. He needs another assist to keep up with uh, Leon Clinton, and he does exactly that, playing the ball along the ground to Julian Larson. And Larson just sort of gets a little bit of a roll on it and turns it underneath the diving keeper. And we'll see it in the replay here. Uh, Tyler Bury sort of plays it in. Larson, I think he hits it on the volley. It looked like the keeper probably should have got that. Um, however, he didn't. And we are two goals to the good and in a very comfortable position. Uh, we're going to make a couple of subs here just because we can. Uh, Jaden Parody is going to come in for Tyler Bury. Um, he's at 75% condition, so we probably want to do that. And then I think we will also bring on, um, yeah, let's bring Avalano. In. Mm -hmm. Let's bring Valdivia in for uh, Kelvin Morgan, uh, just to give him a little bit of a run, keep his match fitness up. Um, he's been a very reliable player for us over the years, and we would like to see him in the squad still getting some game time. So I'm going to demand more from the boys here. Leon Clinton's taken a knock. That's fine. Uh, we'll give Avalano a run for the last 15 minutes or so, or last 10 minutes even, and we'll see uh, if he can produce any magic in the middle of the park there. Danielson Carvalho. Oh, Larson with another open header. And he just can't make the most of that, unfortunately. However. It's going to go in the books as our sixth consecutive clean sheet, 2-0 win against College Europa in a game that we pretty much dominated. I'm not going to lie. Um, you look at the stats. You look at you know the way that the, uh, the boys played, the highlights, everything. Just pure class by Lynx FC. And we've got the job done. Leon Clinton out for a couple of days. That's not such a big deal. We'll be fine. We actually earned that win, 54% possession, nine straight league, win, league wins now. Goodness me, I am tongue-tying myself. Classy Larson, or Clarson, maybe? 
Uh, he was superb. I'm going to let him know that he was superb. Uh, Julian Rebus was out having a look at some of our players. And we just moved from strength to strength here. Four-point lead. Lincoln Redems have still got a game to play. Um, but, of course, that's not what's important. A couple of important things. One, sell out crowd. Let's go. Um, we could be on the verge of potentially having enough in the bank to, um, uh, sorry, finances tab. Here we go. Yeah, only 10 million in the bank at the moment. Um, maybe by the end of next season, we're going to be thinking about a new um, stadium, which could be exciting. But that's not what you want to hear about right now. What you want to do is you want to know what's going to happen from here. So I'm going to put a cut in this episode and then we will be back ready to go for the Lincoln Red Imps game. So uh, I will see you then. And we are back. You'll see we're here on a news article from Wednesday. Julian Larson has been taken ill with the flu, so he will not be playing any part in the game against Lincoln Red Imps, unfortunately. Um, in addition to that, uh, I'm looking for a news article here. Yes, Lincoln Red Imps are favourites at $1.57, and we're out at $5. So probably some of the longest odds we've had for a game. Obviously, Lincoln Red Imps did beat us the last time we played them. And with our first choice goalkeeper out, we could be in a bit of trouble. But, of course, Aiden Vinales was not troubled last time at all uh, by the College Europa. Uh, <laughs> that's their team now. College Europa strikers. So hopefully we can keep that going with our jolly power combination at the back. Um I'm not going to lie, this is going to be a challenging fixture for us. It really is. Um, this is certainly going to be the difference between um, us winning the league and us not winning the league, I think, this season, is how we perform against Lincoln Red Imps. This is a six-point game here. If we can take this win, um, it'll be a four-point advantage for us in the league with six games to go. So, you know, that's really what we want. Um, Shay Jones is one of the best dribblers. Look, I've got fine players too. I'm confident in my players' abilities. So, yeah, we've got the first chance here inside a minute. Tyler Bury headed to Brad Power. Doesn't quite make it. And Valdivia is offside. Oh, that would have been a dream start there. But unfortunately, Power's header against the crossbar. A little bit too much power there. Brilliant sliding block uh, by our defense. And Valdivia has been taken out. Kelvin Morgan cleaned through one-on-one. -on -one. Kelvin Morgan slots it. Four minutes in, his 16th goal of the season. Leon Clinton with the assist. Some great play there by the boys. I have no idea what happened to Valdivia, but he must have also played a role in just missing the ball completely and letting it fall to Morgan. Um, and we're up 1-0 with another opportunity here. Danielson Carvalho to Elva Fontaine. I was about to get out of my chair. Um, yeah, he's just gone a split second early there. They've played the offside trap well have Lincoln Red Imps. Um, denied Kelvin Morgan his second of the game. And I'm not sure exactly what was going on there, but we've got the ball back. Danielson Carvalho to Tyler Bury. Valdivia is going to head it back to Bury, and Bury's going to turn on the ball, plays it back to Elva Fontaine. Elva Fontaine, another missed header from Yeo to Valdivia, who hits the left-footed volley, but he can't get it on target. 20 minutes in now, and... We've had all of the possession. We've had all of the ball, all of the shots. And now Lincoln are probably going to score from their first highlight. <laughs> 25 minutes played. No, Danielson Carvalho steps in and intercepts the ball. We break on the counter. Kelvin Morgan holding the ball up there. Back to Jamie Bozio. Inside to Jolly. Morgan flicks it on to Galliano, who loses the ball. Unfortunate. 
Ball with the Lincoln Red Imps keeper, Bishop. Plays up to Owakwe, who runs down the left flank. Elva Fontaine does enough to get in there. Morgan now plays a terrible ball that doesn't make it to Denilson Carvalho. We lose the ball again. And Dye just sends it wide of the post. We are very fortunate that that sequence of events worked out the way that it did. Corner here, Tyler Bury, 10 minutes to half time. Galliano, no. Iverson intercepts. Alba Fontaine, back to Tyler Bury. Will this cross be any better? Kelvin Morgan. He heads it over the top. <sighs> okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. We're working on it. We're working on it. We've got another opportunity here with Denilson Carvalho on the ball. Alba Fontaine lobbing it into Valdivia. He's onside. Cannot beat the keeper. Morgan can't beat the keeper. Valdivia on the third try. We've taken three attempts, but we've beaten the keeper there. Valdivia's ninth of the season gives Lynx FC the 2 0 lead. Um, there's some great saves there from Bishop, really, at point blank range. And I'm still not sure how Valdivia culled that one in. But I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Lincoln Red Imps with a highlight from kickoff. Hopefully that means we're going to turn it. No. Negrete dispossesses Bozio, gets inside the box. Puts a curling ball on it. And Awakwe pulls one back straight away. And there goes the clean sheet streak that we had. Of course, that's a team-wide clean sheet streak. I'm not sure what Vinales' clean sheet streak was, but we will be told at the end of the game because it has been broken, unfortunately. So I'm going to say, boys, you got to do better than that. you got to give me more than that here. 12 shots to four, seven shots on target to one, and they've scored a goal from it. We've got 51% possession as well as one clear-cut chance, five half chances. We're doing a lot of things right, which is great. So we're going to assertively say, um, things are going well, but I know you're capable of better. And then we're going to say, I have faith. I have faith. Everyone is loving it. Everyone's motivated, happy, ready to go. Um, we just need to keep this up, really, for another 40 minutes. Corner, Negrete, Brad Power heads it clear. Galliano. The long bomb up the field. Morgan gets onto it, gets around his man, turning into the box now. Kelvin Morgan, is he going to cross it? He's going to try. Galliano gets it to Nielsen Carvalho. That took off like a rocket. I tell you what, if he gets a hold of that and it goes on target, there's no way anyone is going to save that. Power plays back to Tyler Bury. Bury doesn't want to send the early cross in the first time. Will he do it the second time? No. He'll play to Leon Clinton. He'll play back to Tyler Bury. Now the early cross. Straight to Bishop. And possibly that's the end of the chance. We're at the hour mark. This is not looking good. Lincoln Red Imps streaming forwards. They've got five, six men inside the box. Negrete outside the box can't make it count. Lomas... Lomas scores. Now, I'm really not a fan of how that's happened, to be honest. You look at that, we get one really good block in. The second one, I don't know. And then the defense there from Brad Power is just... It's poor. It's poor. We need to be better. We need to do better. Delos Santos is going to come in for Clinton. Galliano sitting on a yellow at the moment, not playing well. Jamie Bozio probably playing worse. I don't really have anyone that can step in the left back because I didn't put Hill in the squad again for this game. So what I think we're going to do here is we're going to give ourselves a little bit of run on the wing. We're going to put Jaden Parity in for Craig Galliano, and we're going to run Parity Bury on the wings. We're going to see if that can turn something around for us here. We've stepped up to Cautious. Arenoso with a throw to Lomas. Lomas's cross does not pay off. 
And now we're on here. Kelvin Morgan in, through on goal, one on... Oh, my goodness. That's going in the Sports Centre, not top 10 this week. Uh, that is for sure. Disgusting finish there. 10 minutes to play now, and I think, why not throw caution to the wind? Let's go attacking. We're inside the last... We're into injury time, even. And that's going to be it. It's going to play out 2-2. Lincoln Redimps had gone 257 minutes without being beaten. They've now been unbeaten for 16 games. Um, and they've set a new Gibraltar National League record. Aiden Vinales had gone 180 minutes without conceding. I mean, it hurts because we were two goals up. Like, really, that's, that's the bit that's disappointing. I'm not happy with the defense because, really, the defense has got to do better there. We had a two-goal advantage, and we let it slip through our hands. Now, it's not really going to affect us in the big scheme of things because this is the team that is second to us, and they're still behind us, but... We had a real good chance there to give ourselves a little bit of safety. Um, and unfortunately, we couldn't do that. Kelvin Morgan maybe could have won it for us. Who knows? All right. So after that result, what we're going to do, we don't really care too much about the Rock Cup quarterfinal. I'm going to say it. Um, we're going to play these four games off camera and possibly the Rock Cup semifinal. I'm not sure. Uh, where that falls in the scheme of things. We're going to come back for the same double header. We're going to come back for College Europa and Lincoln Redimps at games 19 and 20 of the season. We possibly will have the opportunity to seal the championship against Lincoln Redimps um, at home. So that is going to be a huge episode for us. Before I leave you today, though, I'm just going to show you the youth candidates summary here. Um, we've got some youth candidates coming through in March, so probably very soon before the next update. Um, we've got lots of wide midfielders and wingers coming through, potentially a top prospect in the center of midfield. So I'm hoping that we're going to get something good out of this. As you can see in our facilities tab here, we have got good academy coaching and adequate recru recruitment, something that needs a little bit of work, but it's much better than what it was when we started this save. So I'm going to leave you there. I will see you back here on Friday next week for some more Football Manager. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, we are going all the way to the Champions League with Lynx FC here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you soon.